channel. So today we are at John Bell and Hoyden, which is a humongous pharmacy. It's huge. Um, I've actually never been before, and neither has Alan, who's holding the camera for me right now. But um, you can see behind me, it looks like the shop goes back really far, and it's like three shops all dedicated to like beauty and skincare and like pharmacy products. I'm really, really excited about this. I definitely have the case of January blues. I feel like right now my soul sister is sad from inside out. I'm just drooping all over the place and I have no motivation to do anything. But to kind of give me that boost, I'm getting really into skincare. So I thought we'd come here today, I'd treat myself to a few goodies, have a look around. As I said, it's absolutely huge in there. And I'm really excited to check it out. I thought I would take you guys along with us for the day to kind of see what it's like inside. Also guys, I forgot to say, but it's basically on Wigmore Street, which is just a street behind Oxford Street. There's some really great shops around here. We've also seen a couple really cool coffee shops and places to eat. So this is definitely a good area to come to if you're visiting London or if you're from London. But yeah, okay, now let's head inside. Okay, so we've just come in. They, this place is absolutely huge. It just goes back for miles. They've even got like fragrances. They've got things for nutrition. It looks like they've got lots of like health kind of um, products like, oh look, oh I've heard about this. Okay, so joint health. These flakes, I actually buy these in Liberty. Um, how much are they here? 9 95 yeah, it's around the same price in Liberty. These are great for after the gym, soaking up in the bath. It's just a really good way to kind of relax your muscles. But I've heard a lot about this magnesium oil. If you have really sore muscles or you're really tight after the gym, or if you're just stiff in general, apparently these oils are amazing. So I'm definitely gonna be having a look at these. 13 pounds, but oils always last a really long time. So this is a pure mineral spray. And yeah, apparently they're really good for rubbing on sore bodies after the gym. So they've got a lot of different alternative teas. I think herbal teas are actually a really great remedy for various different things. Obviously the classic ones are like peppermint, if you, like if you've got a stomach ache or digestion issues. Um, I did a video about how to fight the winter blues, um, although January is just really beating me up right now. But fennel tea is a really great tea if you do have the winter blues. Um, if you're just feeling a little bit down, this is meant to be really good. It's also really good for like PMS, it's good for digestion, it's good for your immune system. There are loads of benefits to fennel tea. I already have a stock at home, um, but this one's organic. And yeah, they've got loads of different teas in here. Okay, St. John's Wort. I haven't had this myself, but this supposedly helps relax your state of mind, which is really cool. Um, nettle tea, I've heard really good things about this as well, so it says it's for good support of your joints, um, so I guess that would be good in the supplement of like working out and just loosening up a bit. So I'm still in the health section, these are absolutely delicious, um, they basically, if you like Marmite, these kind of taste like Marmite, but they're just roasted cashew nuts with um, a tamari, I guess like sauce, so I think it's a little bit like soy sauce, but these are really good, they're a really good snack, £1.20, I usually get these in Whole Foods, but I mean they're really good, I think I'm going to get a packet, so just put those in the basket, Alan will love those as well, he's having a look around himself, but he's going to love that I got those. So I've just seen they've got Sun Warrior Protein in here, this is actually my favourite protein powder. Um, so it's good to see they've got it here. It's actually really hard to find. I usually buy it on Amazon. Sometimes they haven't at Whole Foods. They've only got the vanilla flavour here. My favourite is the chocolate. Um, it's still got like that protein powder texture, but mixed with like almond milk or coconut milk, it's really nice. I'm very excited about this. This is my absolute favourite toothpaste. Alan's been using Marvis toothpaste for quite a long time. I never really got into it because I didn't like the flavours of it until he got the licorice one, which is just down here. £5.75, that is so good. Um, usually it's £6 where we buy it, but this is the licorice one. It sounds like it wouldn't be very nice, but it is so good. It foams up really nicely. It tastes great. Definitely adding that to the basket. So Alan wants to try the jasmine mint one. We can see how this compares to the licorice, but we're loving the licorice, aren't we? Oh, so good. So pop that into the basket. Doing quite well so far. Look what I got, Alan. Mm. They're so good, aren't they? Yeah. So you can have those later. So Marvis even have a mouthwash, which that packaging is really nice. That would look so good on the side of a sink. Floris is a really famous um, like perfumer and soap maker in London. They supply soaps and stuff for the royal family. And they have a rose concentrated mouthwash. Rose mouthwash, that must be interesting. So I used to use this back to California hard cream pomade. I'd always buy it online. 
but they've got it here, which is really good. It's quite hard to find How's in the price, like though? 20 pounds. I think that's how much I would pay online. Okay. It's really hard to find it in like other places. So if you use any of their products, they've got them here. Plus they've got the like conditioner and shampoo. Yeah. Would you recommend this? I think, yeah, this worked quite well for me. Eight and Bob is a niche perfume brand. Um, I think I think they say it's unisex, but they are very masculine fragrances, very typical colognes. This eau de toilette really smells like a men's cologne. This one, I can't remember what this one smells like now. It's like a cologne scent with cucumber, but it's very rich. And then this one, Egypt, kind of smells like an oud mixed with like a cologne. Is that yeah. how you would describe I it? So, yeah. I think that one's Musky, the nicest one out of the three of them. I quite like this one. That one is that one's more of an everyday scent. This one's very intense. It's maybe a night scent, or if you like really strong oud, kind of spicy, masculine fragrances. That's Eight and Bob Egypt. I think that's their newest one. This place is amazing. As I said, first time we've been in here. It's huge. It's got everything you could imagine. They've got like special beds, they've got gym equipment, they've got a chiropractor and a dentist in here. So much stuff. They've even got someone to check like your scalp health. It's really cool in here. No wonder people rave about it. Are you impressed, Alan? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. This is amazing. They've been like bedazzled. <laughs> This is very cute. They've got mini biodermas, which I always put off buying because it's just a lot of money for this small bottle, but actually it would come in so handy traveling. So I think these are £5.50. I might get one and see how I go, although I might see what other sizes are available because I love bioderma. It's the best product to take off your makeup um, in a rush. Just put some of it on a cotton pad. It's really gentle um, and that's a really good one for travel, especially with the amount of like three-day trips we do. They've got all the Marvis toothpastes in mini sizes. Well, not mini, it's just 25 ml. So if you don't want to splash out and you want to try different flavors, these sizes are a really good way to do it. They've got a huge range of the Balmain, um, like, I guess, beauty and hair products. So I've not tried any of these myself. I don't know, I just feel like, would it even be any good? If any of you have tried any of these products, let us know in the comments below if they're worth them. Neom is one of my favourite natural and really, really luxurious brands for skincare, baths, like even candles, body oils, body washes. This absolutely smells incredible. They've got a huge range here. It's actually really hard to find Neom. We used to find it in Selfridges, but I don't think they have it anymore. Whole Foods as well? Whole Foods, yeah, but it's also rarely in Whole Foods anymore. Um, but it's all natural, organic. It literally smells like a spa. I used to use a body scrub, which actually doesn't look like they have the body scrub. It looks like they only have the candles and the oils. But there used to be a body scrub I would use, I think in the real luxury range, which is lavender, jasmine, and Brazilian rosewood. It smelled incredible. Literally using that scrub was like heaven. And I ran out and I've not been able to find it. it doesn't look like they have it here, but I'm gonna keep looking and see if they have any more neon products because they are amazing. Okay, it's 31 pounds, so this doesn't come cheap, but this candle, the real luxury one, it smells like the most incredible spa. This would be the perfect candle whilst you're in the bath. This L'Occitane lavender range is really, really nice. I have the foaming bath, which is just here. Um, I really like that. You just put quite a lot of it running under a hot tap and it foams up in the bath. It smells like lavender. It's really, really nice. Okay guys, I look, look how blue I look, I look like um, It's the lighting in here and it's getting dark out which is not good, it's only 4.20. Um, but anyway, that was an exciting experience, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up in a minute but first we've popped into Sourced which is on Wigmore Street as well, really really nice in here, it's a really big open space, loads of windows and this brownie looks incredible. I think it's like a... Um, uh, it is. Oh, Ian's calling, one second. Okay, so I had to take a quick phone call, and meanwhile, Alan's eating all of the good side of the cake. So it's like a, it's like a salted caramel dolce de leche brownie. Mm. Oh my god, I'm drooling just thinking about this. You guys know I have a huge sweet tooth. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, so I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. Um, I showed you a few things, didn't show you some other things, so I'll just show you the bits I haven't shown you yet. So 
so, so first up are these bath salts. They are Dead Sea Spa Magic Dead Sea Bath Salts. So as I said, I normally get those magnesium Epsom salts. They're like £9.95 or something. These were £5.70, I think. So much cheaper for the same amount of bath salts. I've never tried this type before, but I reckon it's the same thing, so I'll see how I get on with those. So I also picked up the Cordily Beauty Elixir in the 30ml, I think this was £12. I've heard amazing things about this, apparently this is Victoria Beckham's all-time favourite beauty product, so it's basically like a face mist toner, apparently it makes your complexion glow and really smooth. I've never tried this out before, so we'll see how I get on with that. Okay, next up is the Trilogy Rosehip Oil. Um, I've heard really good things about this specific rosehip oil, but apparently rosehip oil in general is really good just to add into some moisturiser and put on your face. And it's meant to be really good for redness. Um, it like, helps with skin tone, it helps with um, firmness of the skin. So I'm excited to try this. You guys know I do suffer from redness. I've got a CC cream on today. The lighting is not very good in here, so it's going to be hard to tell. You guys probably know I've got red cheeks. Um, it's not that bad, but I think it'll be nice to kind of even out my skin tone, especially because um, as it gets warm, I mean, it's really cold out now, but in the winter, I definitely want to try wear less makeup. So I'm trying to really look after my skin this winter. So I'm trying to try that. That was £26. Not cheap, but oil lasts a really long time. A little bit will go a long way. And then the rest of it really is what I showed you I was getting. So the magnesium oil, toothpaste, nuts, that's all I picked up. It was quite expensive, it came to around like £66. I think mainly because of like the rose of oil and um, added quite a lot to it. But I've been really wanting to try this. I was going to buy it in John Lewis, but when I saw it was in there, that was really good. Is anyone behind me? Okay guys, so I'm going to just do a lip top up because it's all come off. So today I'm wearing the Kylie Lip Kit Pencil, which I really like in Coco K. I feel like this is a really good nude and I just line my lips a little bit. It's kind of blunt, I need to sharpen it, but it still works because it's really creepy. I feel like this colour is like a perfect match for me to have like just a little bit of an overlined lip. And then my favourite lipstick, like nude lipstick currently, this is Trish Michael Boy's Pink Nude. I really, really like this lipstick. I'm using my camera as a mirror. And that's that done. Pink color. Okay guys, so we're home now. It was freezing out today. On our walk home, I felt like someone was holding ice cubes to my cheeks, it was so cold. But I'm just editing the video, I'm gonna upload it now, um, once I've finished editing it. But I realized I didn't say goodbye to you guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. John Bell and Croydon was a really cool shop. I highly recommend it if you're in London. Also going to where we had our brownie and hot chocolate and Alan had a coffee. Um, what was it called, Alan? Sourced. Sourced. It was really, really nice in there. Really good vibes and really good bakery section and sandwiches and things like that. So we had a really good day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to explore more places like this in London, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And if you have anywhere else you would recommend <clears throat> for getting really cool like beauty products and things like that, definitely let me know. I'm going to have more videos coming like this very soon. I love taking you around London, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, if you did enjoy it and you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. I love seeing how many of you are joining this community. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.